Okay, this is kind of scary here. Here is a trash bag. It smells. Oh my. Somebody returned this to Amazon. You have got to see this. We have another Amazon Customer Returns Mystery Liquidation Palette with five boxes on it. So this is gonna be fun. I love doing these, you love watching them, so uh, let's get going on this. To start this off, make sure you take one second and hit the subscribe button below because you don't wanna miss any future videos on this channel from pallet videos and reselling and making money. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun time for all, for me and for you. Don't miss out. What we got here is we've got five boxes on one pallet. The total manufacturer suggested retail price that I paid for my liquidation broker for these five boxes on one pallet was $1,515. These were labeled as home decor housewares. It could be anything from the bathroom to the kitchen to the bedroom, even the garage. It, it, it could be many different things. What I actually paid for this though, because it's liquidated products, it's custom return, uh, warehouse damaged, and uh, overstock, I paid a total of $129.47. So we'll just call this, I paid $130 for about $1,500 worth of product if, if, if everything is in, you know, full retail price condition, which it never is. So, how does this work? If you haven't watched this kind of a video before, how it works pretty much, I open these boxes, we'll go through it, we'll have fun, we'll see what I get, and I'll sell all these products on either eBay, Amazon, my personal resale shop, Poshmark, Macari, Lego, Waffer Up, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Just because it sells for $10 on eBay doesn't mean I can't get 20 bucks for it on Amazon or 25 for it in my own shop. I sell it where I get the most profit for it. And people have asked me, how much did I pay in shipping for this pallet? I pay no shipping. My broker that I deal with is local to me, so I pick up these pallets myself, no shipping charges. At the end of this video, we'll talk more about where you can buy some of these pallets from. So if you got some questions about that, just stay tuned, we'll talk more about that. So anyway, let's get this going, you know? First box. I won't go into, uh, like guaranteed prices, I'm gonna tell you some estimates of items, either the same items or items like it that I have sold in the past, and I'll estimate you know selling prices from my own personal knowledge of things I've sold. So, first thing, here's what the box looks like. First, open it up. All this is from Amazon. So, first thing in this box, we have a oh, this is a NutriChef, this is a temperature gauge for like food, for your turkeys, for any kind of food. This has got some value to it. I'll have to test this thing out, but if it works, that'll be an easily 20 to $30 in used condition. Not a bad start. Let's keep going. Next, we've got something that is wrapped up in bubble wrap. It says it's a mini flower garden statue, but it sounds broken. We'll check this out really quick. Yeah, it sounds broken. This was probably warehouse damaged. Oh, it's actually really cool. Check this out. Ah, I might, man, I know, I can't fix this. I'll probably put this, well, I'll just show it to you first. Happiness, what's it say? Is growing flowers. Look at that, that's cool. But it, it's got a hole in it. So something like this, I will put into my resale shop that I personally have here. I have what I call dollar grab boxes. I will mark this thing for $1 and it will sell for a dollar. People, I mean, it will sell. But if it wasn't broken, I could get, you know, for that at least five to $10. So you will get broken stuff in this. You cannot help that. Next, Rapid Egg Cooker. This is a fantastic item to sell. Sold this thing a hundred times and it is still wrapped up in plastic. Whenever it's all wrapped up in plastic, don't really mess with it much because you wanna keep it factory wrapped, factory sealed up. This item 
eBay, it's like, ah, uh, it's like $20, $25. I'll have to double check prices because prices fluctuate on these items all the time. So that, it's a good item right there. Next, we have a, oh, that's broken too. This, I'll just kind of show it to you. It's probably, yeah, it's broken. It is just a plastic canister uh, just to keep food and to keep it fresh, but it's plastic and it's broken. So that's, that, that one is trash because it can't be used if it's broken because it can't keep your food fresh. So in liquidations, you will get salvage. You will get stuff that you can't sell. You just got to throw it away. You don't have a choice. That stinks, but that's all part of the liquidation game. But it's fun. You know, this, this is fun. This is my full-time job. Oh, I didn't even show you. It's a guac lock thing for guacamole. And oh, a beautiful sight. It's brand new. It's brand new in the box. You can't beat that. I've never sold this actual brand before. But looking at something like this, I would say if I put it into my own resale shop, it's an easy $10. It might go for more on eBay or Amazon, but that'll take a little bit of research on my part, but it's a nice item. But man, that sounds... Oh, that kind of sounds broken. That kind of sounds broken also. I mean, at least like that uh, Minnie Mouse like garden statue thing, at least that can be sold for like a dollar. Oh, this is like a George... Man. Okay, this is kind of like an off-brand George Foreman grill, but you see a problem here? Here is the cords. They cut the end of the cords off, so more than likely what happened to this, a customer used this. It probably sparked, and it might have caused a kitchen fire or something. Um, whenever I get items like this where the customer cut the end of the cord off, that's usually something kind of serious. And I will not resell this because I could, I could fix this cord and I could put on a new end on it, like new prongs on it. But uh, the customer cut the, re the cord off for a reason, so I'm not going to mess with it. But what I can do with this though, they did return some of these parts, so I can, I can still resell uh, some of these accessories that come with this like off-brand George Foreman grill. Like these things um, I'll have to see what these things are called but whenever you get something broken like that like or not broken that probably a fire hazard still try to resell some of the accessories that come with it but sometimes you can get some decent money for just the accessories try to kind of you've got to make some money back next beautiful Weber grill cover uh yeah these I love getting in liquidations because 99 times out of 100, they are still brand new in the box. What people do is they buy these for their grills because they hope it's going to fit. They buy it, they put it on the grill, it doesn't fit, it's too big or it's too small, so they put it back in the box and they return it to Amazon and it's brand new still. So I will sell this on Amazon as open box item which meets their qualifications because it actually was never used. It was just opened up, t taken out, tried off, put back in the box. But I will make sure, and this thing is an easy $30 to $40, and it is one of the larger ones too, which it could actually go for more than that. Hopefully it does. But yeah, with, with that item and those other two earlier things, the egg thing and guacamole, we're looking at right there, 70 to 80 bucks right now. This first box has been really decent. Like, I've gotten easily half of my money back from the entire price. People are going to say, uh, what what I say? I paid for this thing a total of $129. That was $129 for all five boxes. That wasn't for one box. That was for all five. Okay, what's in this one? It is brand new in the box. There's two of them. I just opened it up. Oh, it's little speakers. I'll show it to you. There's the brand Eminence. Little, it's a little tweeter. They look to be brand new. I might have to research these, look these things up. These might have some crazy value to them. They might be like 20, 25 bucks a pop. And if they are, I think this first box just might have paid back the entire or the entire liquidation. So there's two little tweeters here. Also, if there's anything that you watch in this video that, that you want to buy, 
anything, hit me up. There's direct links below this video in the, the description box for my email and social media. Hit me up. We can work out a price. I will give you cheaper prices directly, PayPal invoice, because I take a, you know, there's no selling fees then, no eBay, Amazon selling fees, so I can actually pass the savings on to you and sell to you even cheaper than what I would online. So take advantage, you know, if you see something that, that you want. Here's a little spout for your hose. Um, it's broken. The end's broken off of it. So this is probably going to be trash. I'll have to look at it later. Oh, here's like a fancy watch. Sunto. Look at that, look at that. Sunto. Is that a good brand? Going a little, a little bit of a blank. Man, they sure did tape this box up though. Uh, like I was saying earlier, just a minute ago, anything you see in this liquidation, any five boxes, you, if you wanna buy anything, which I've sold to already several dozen subscribers who've hit me up from past videos, and I will give you better deals than eBay and Amazon prices on everything that you see unboxed in these videos. Because PayPal direct invoices, there, there's there's no selling fees that I have to pay. I mean, I still have to pay federal and state taxes, but I, I don't have to pay the 10% eBay fees and 30% Amazon fees. Oh, that's nice. Let me look this up real quick. This might have some value to it. I'll be right back. Okay, I just looked this thing up. This thing sells for over on Amazon right now, brand new. While well, I'm looking at it, it retails new for $325. That's crazy. So I'm gonna have to, I'm sure this is recharged, I'm to charge up to test it out. But since obviously the packaging is kind of, you know, taped up a little bit, also I can't sell for full price because it's probably, you know, it, it might've been lightly used. But easily, eBay, I could probably get at least two to 250 for this watch. Wow, this is a score. So every time I do a liquidation, there's always like your best thing in the whole palette. I think this is gonna be it. This will be the too sweet item of the entire palette. So awesome score. So just this watch alone probably is going to get all of my money back from the investment plus 100% profit. So this first box right here is crazy profitable. Wow. But yeah, this is, you might want to look this thing up yourself just to verify what I'm saying. There's the title of it. It is not going to focus. It's the Sunto Spartan Sport Wrist HR. There it goes, it focused. There's that. And down there is the barcode right there. That is the barcode, that's the watch. That is crazy. So yeah, this is for sale if anybody wants to get this. But yeah, this thing, wow, that's expensive. That's exciting. This is why I do liquidations for stuff like that. Like this is a home decor and housewares box and I get a $300 watch in it. How crazy is that? But it, it happens. Anyway, let's keep going. Here is a uh, multi-activated toilet night light. It's probably just a few bucks, not much. Here is some, oh, it's like a doggy toy. Eh, probably just a few bucks. Probably my shop. Here's an eye grill. That might be a temperature thing for your grill. More than likely, it's probably what it is. Maybe about five bucks or so. Here's next thing, it's in a sealed box. Oh, it, it's a replacement part to like a uh, one of those uh, one of those drawn a blank like a magic bullet thing, but is very used. So that's probably going to be pretty much worthless. That might just go into my dollar boxes at my shop, probably. Nothing special. Here we've got some doggy diapers. They've been opened up. It's probably missing some, so this will probably end up going into my shop for this like maybe a couple dollars. Here we've got an article of clothing in here. Probably into my dollar grab box for somebody to find a treasure. And here we have a little stand. 
for somebody to use just to use as a stand. So probably my shop for like a couple dollars again, not a whole lot. So that's it for the first box, that's everything. Let me put this all back in here. So all in all, this first box with just that watch and a few of these items like the watch will be at least low ball 200, like 250, 280, like 310. So we're talking just this first box alone, I should make back about over $300 easy and the whole liquidation was 130 so i'm getting back all my money plus 100 percent plus profit in just the first box we've got four more boxes to go so uh stay tuned because this is fun box number two let's get this one going okay box one is going to be hard to top with anything so, um, that box one was crazy. If you watch my past pallet videos, box one is like a box that good's a rarity. It happens, but it's a rarity. Here we've got a Contiga. Oh, it is nasty and used and disgusting and broken. So that just goes straight into the trash. Next, we have a little, uh, little sippy cup thing. So that's gotta be eh, about five bucks maybe, not bad. Next we have, this is a good brand, Wall. It's a dog groomer. I've sold many, 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 many of these. If it is used, it'll go for 30-ish bucks depending on how used it is. If it's brand new, 50 to 60, but it's more likely it's going to be used. Yeah, it's loose in there, it's used. So it'll go for around $30, give or take a little bit. Uh, I'll probably put it on eBay. About 30 bucks. It's not bad. Here is a portable, like a, like a camping grill. These are very popular in the summertime. Summer now is pretty much over. So this is going to be a hard sell. It might sit for a while. Uh, it looks to, eh, it, it is used. It's back in the wrapper, but I can see usage marks on it. So it is used. So it'll have to be tried out before I sell it. As long as it works okay. About 12 to 15 dollars, but... That might be a long time sell. Here's a little whisker thing. About five bucks, not much. A used camelback. Uh, five bucks. Of course I have to clean it out, wash it, you know, get it as good as I can. It'll sell. Oh, here's a little uh, fan with batteries. You put water in it and your child can spray themselves when it gets hot. I'll have to test it out, of course, but that's probably, uh, couple dollars not much first step drawstring litter cat boxes we've got a cat so I'll be keeping that that's nice about liquidations is I do keep a lot of things I keep trash bags cleaning supplies stuff like that I keep all that stuff Tide Pods I keep it all because why buy it when I get it in liquidations for next to nothing here we've got a very large spinning bar spoon I have never sold this. I know the brand OXO. It's not a it's not like a expensive brand, but it's a decent brand. Uh, this can't be much more than maybe like five. Okay, it's, it's all taped shut, but five-ish. Three things left in this box. Here we've got another Wall Professional KM2 Speed. I've never sold this wall before. Let me look this one up real quick. This is good. This sells new on Amazon for $116. Obviously, you can tell it's used. Um, this, this, this one's pretty good, too. So, yes, it, it, it is used. It's missing all the accessories that come with it, so that kind of stinks. So, value-wise, it's probably not going to go for even close to half. I'll probably I'll have to test this out, make sure it works, but if it does, yeah, it'll be, it's missing the DVD, it's missing the extra cutters, everything. I'll probably lucky to get 25 bucks for it now. Maybe in that range. Two things left. Here's an Umbro mailbox. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's still taped, so I'll have to check it out. I'll probably put this in, into my actual shop. I'll probably mark it like $10 maybe. 
first person offers me five, I'll take it. And next is we've got a mattress protector. Sleep and chill protects, controls temperature and comfort. That's actually pretty nice. That's probably got some decent value to it. That's got probably at least probably 25, 30 bucks maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. It does look like it was taken out of the package. It might be used, I'll have to pull it out myself just to make sure it's not used and any kind of weird marks on it. But if it looks good, um, I'll have to check eBay, Amazon prices. But there's, I'm sure somebody watching this video who knows exactly how much this thing costs. And it might be more expensive than what I think. We'll find out. But let me switch out these boxes and me pull up the third box. Give me one second, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab them, they're over here. Here we go, box number three. Number three is kind of interesting. You gotta see this. This box is very heavy. It says caution heavy stickers on it. It's all over it. This thing probably weighs, I bet you close to 100 pounds. 75 to 100, I don't know, it's, it's heavy. So I'm curious of what is in here. It's probably maybe a bunch of cast iron. We're gonna find out. Let's see what we got. The top of it looks good though. What's so heavy in here, I wonder? Here's the first thing, here's another grill cover like we saw earlier. I think it's, no, it's a different one. The packaging on this one is kind of beat up. Same thing, with we'll to go through this, make sure if, if this thing is just, you know, tried on once, didn't fit and returned, then this will go for at least 30, 40 bucks. But I'm going to take it out and see what it's like, but it's a good item. Here we got a Brielle Home full sheet set. Uh, it's probably about, I'll probably put this into my actual shop for probably about 20 to 25. Yeah, probably 20. Full in, in the twin, they just don't sell well. People just don't want them. What is in there? It's so heavy. Let's see. Oh, here's a, a allergy thing for your bed. Five bucks, not much. Oh, here is a G form compression shorts uh, for some kind of sporting activity. Not sure what for. Women's Pro B shorts. So it's for women. Uh, I'd say, depending on if they're new or used, it's all taped up still. So maybe $10, $15. That's going to take a little bit of research on my part. Oh, this thing's kind of heavy. What is this? Here is too cool. Oh, it's like a doggy, like bathing thing, like a doggy pool. And the inside was kind of moldy, so it was used. Um, yeah. If I go to my shop, because you can tell it's used, the person put it back into the packaging when it was wet still, so it's got a little bit of a mold issue to it. So if I go into my shop, and it won't sell for much. So, that kind of stinks. This is brand new, Essential Oils, Airwick brand new. That'll probably be about eight to ten dollars in that range. Brand new factory sealed. And last thing in this box, maybe just a random bow tie, a dollar or two. Oh, it's heavy too. I have no clue what this thing is. It is some kind of a cover. Let me throw this thing up. Reeks of plastic. A message from Upper Bounce. Oh, I see what this is. This is for a trampoline. This is like the actual part that you bounce on top of. It's like, it's the trampoline's actual, like, bouncing area surface. So that's going to actually take, I'm going to have to actually pull that out see if it has holes in it or anything so that's no idea on value on that zero idea here's like a little bag and then a little clock thing not much so that's the third man this donkey thing's heavy might be some water in it still i don't know so that's the third box let me switch out let's get this fourth box going two left fourth box 
Uh, just more reminder everybody, this week I'll be picking up uh, pouts of electronics and toys. So you will be seeing some uh, unboxing videos of electronics and toys coming up probably this coming weekend and next week. So be on the look out for that. Those are always very fun to go through. They can be insanely profitable. And you can find some really cool stuff in electronics and toy palettes. So be on the look out for those two. Or more than two actually, because they're coming. First thing, box four. We've got something that is full of Japanese handwriting. Okay. It's full of these. Some kind of like a rope. It stinks. I don't know. I'm just going to put this on top of the trash can for now. I'll figure out what to do with it. But it has a bad odor to it. Here's some napkins, like some party napkins. Here is a little carrying case, probably for like a, a Nintendo DS or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Nintendo and then the games. It's a little carrying case, like five bucks or so. What we got here? Umbra. So, yeah, whatever that is. Drawing a blank. Next, this article of clothing. It's going to be some research for how much that is. Here's some flea and tick spray. I'll probably keep that. Let's see, here's a sealed Amazon box that somebody returned it in. Let's see what they returned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I'll sell these in my shop for a dollar a piece. Look at this. Here is an entire box of like children's like 1980 vibe glasses. Not sunglasses, just like glasses. Looks like they actually light up too. That one's dead. That one's dead. It appears all the batteries are dead in them, but they're actually, looks like they're supposed to light up. But they don't. So, yeah. Try to get a dollar a piece for those. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is kind of scary here. Here is a trash bag. It smells. Oh my. Somebody returned this to Amazon. You have got to see this. I can't. Oh no, I cannot believe this. There is, I've seen some customer scams in my day, but this is unbelievable. Somebody returned to Amazon a bag of just clippings of grass and weeds and sticks and they returned it to Amazon like it smells like if you go to a 4-H fair and like you walk through like the barns there it smells like a barn the past video we kind of talked a little bit about customer scams and uh, what some of the things that people do to Amazon this has the Amazon return label on it from the warehouse. So somebody returned a bag of grass clippings and crap and they took it. Amazon took it back. So they're, they're probably supposed to return who knows what. It could have been, you know, like, oh, like some clothing. But they sent them back a bag of grass and clippings from their barn. Oh my gosh, I have never seen it. I have never seen this before. This is a first. This is a first for me as as a pallet flipper. This is a first for my channel. This is a first for me when it comes to customer scams. 
Oh my goodness, there's more stuff in this box, but I don't want to pull out this bag because it, I just tried to pull it out and grass went everywhere because the bag's leaking grass and crap. So I won't be finishing this box on camera, which kind of stinks because I'm sure everything below this box of grass and barn and it smells like there, there, there might be some poop in it. There's more items under this box or under this bag of barn stuff. I can't believe this. I'm in complete and total shock that Amazon would allow this. That they, that, this is unbelievable. If you wanted to see some crazy stuff in a liquidation palette, you just saw it. Like, I've seen some craziness in my times doing liquidations. This is a first for me. As a liquidator, always have disinfectant wipes around you because who knows what's in that bag? Like, there could literally, like, it smells like a barn. There was probably poop. Like, most of the stuff that is actually on my desk from this box might be contaminated with feces from that trash bag. So, I'm, man, this is, it's like, it's, it's freaking on me, too. Like, from this bag. This is disgusting. So, uh, yeah. We got one box left. Um, sorry about this little delay between boxes right now, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I have, I'm in total shock that, I have never seen a customer scam like this in my life. This is ridiculous. So all this stuff that is on top of my desk, I'm just going to put it right on top of this box. And I might just throw this stuff away because I don't think I even want to sell this stuff because it could be contaminated with manure or something. I mean, I, 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 I have to wipe down my desk and everything now because who knows? So that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Okay, let's, let's, let's get back to this. Wow. Okay, last box. Let's just hope that this isn't a box of who knows what. So, I've always said that uh, sometimes you get crap in these boxes, like salvage. You can literally get like somebody's grass clippings and barn hay and manure that from their barn in liquidation boxes. It can happen. You just saw it live on camera. That is crazy. I'm kind of glad I captured that on camera live for everybody to see. I'm, I'm kind of glad. So everybody can see the truth of what can happen in liquidation sometimes. That's just... Get back to it. Here's a tablecloth cover. Problem is, it is cut with a knife right here. That's why it got returned. So more likely that's probably going to be trash because you can't, can't really sell that. Here's an article of clothing. Now, I'm being so careful reaching in now because I'm just, I'm leery of what I might be reaching into. Brand new sealed Airwick thing again, like $10. I mean, at least that first box was crazy profitable with that $300 watch in it. Thank goodness. Because I, I literally got a box of manure from a, somebody's barn. A little mixer thing. Let's try this thing out. Cuisine art. A little prep thing. If it works, like 5 to $8. Here is an umbrella table screen. It's a little different. It's kind of cool. As long as the thing has no holes in it, I'm going to take it out. This box is destroyed on it, though. It has no holes in it. That probably be easily like a $10 bill. Next, rocket blender. Sounds used. It's loose in the box. Actually, no. It's just the packaging's missing, the, the upper packaging. So this thing will probably be about $15. I might put this into my shop. We'll, we'll find out, we'll see. Eh, about five bucks, Intex thing for your pool. Nothing really too, too fancy. Here we got a Chef Buddy. Yeah, this thing's kind of, kind of cheapy thing. Not very expensive. Man, like, I can smell the box now. Like, my office now smells like 
a barn. This is nasty. Oh my goodness. Looks like much what somebody returned here. That thing is very used. Man, that thing's nasty. But at least there's there's not poop on it from a barn. But that was also kind of gross too. This I always preach to people. You never ever eat food while you're going through liquidations. Don't ever snack on anything. Don't ever put your eyes near your face, your mouth, or anything because you never know what you might be touching. Like with that thing, that thing was kind of dirty and nasty. The other box, there was manure in it. There was grass clippings with barn smell to it. So always be careful going through liquidation. You keep your hands, your fingers away from your eyes and your mouth and your nose, you know. You do not want to get any of the stuff near your face just just in case here's a Brita I didn't even show you guys water filtration system this is actually this is the last thing I didn't even tell anybody I just kind of start pulling it out this is the last item come on and looks to be brand new so that it's good at least that thing's not nasty and moldy thank goodness so that's everything that's all five boxes that's is what we've got we've got the best thing in the box is right here is this watch from earlier i kept it out of the box because that's like possibly upwards of new it was over 300 used two to 250 so that is fantastic um all together just that first box is over 300 bucks in profit the next two were easily 100, 100 like like a hundred dollars a piece plus fourth box I'm probably gonna pitch that entire box with the literally the it has poop in it from a barn and oh, it's nasty I cannot believe that I know I've rambled on about that now for like 10 minutes straight I think but I have never ever seen something like that in a liquidation before that is just disgusting that somebody had the nerve to return that to Amazon because, I mean, they bought this, let's say, and all Amazon wants to see is they want you to return something. So once you return your package Amazon and they scan it as returned, they throw it into like their big box of liquidated products and it gets liquidated. And they literally return a bag of poop, barn leftover stuff and grass clippings and sticks. And that's what they returning and they got their money back. That is like the ultimate disgusting customer scam I have ever had in my life. And I captured it on camera. So how crazy is that? That is insane. So anyway, you know what? That's it. That's all five boxes. I'll quit rambling about my box filled with poop from a barn. So anything in this video that you want, minus the fourth box. I'm probably going to pitch that entire box and all the contents in it because I don't want to risk any kind of con contamination with anybody because no anything from the other four boxes you want to buy anything hit me up direct links to to get a hold of me are in the description box for this video hit me up we can work out prices i'll beat ebay and amazon prices because there's no selling fees um make sure you comment below and be on the lookout this coming weekend we're going to have uh pallets for electronics pallets for toys we're going to have some good stuff hopefully no more boxes full of poop and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you very much. Subscribe, please, and I'll, I'll see you later. I gotta wash my hands like four or five more times. I just, ugh, I'm out.